So over the past week, I have seen numerous posts, tweets, articles, and in general people kicking off about content that's been cut from Cyberpunk 2077. Today we check out what's actually being cut, CD Project Red's reaction to it all, and well, the truth. How's it going guys, my name's DPJ, and if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like it really helps out, and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Also guys, I'm giving away copies of this game, to be with a chance of winning one, drop a like on this video and leave a comment down below, more details at the end. So you yourself have probably seen another video on this subject, a tweet, an article, a reddit discussion etc etc. At the moment it's absolutely everywhere and what I don't understand is why this is being blown out of proportion as to me it's like people are just out to get this game and set it up to fail with some weird anti CDPR agenda. And this actually got to a point where CDPR actually responded to this matter, which you can see on screen now. This was posted by senior level designer Miles Toast. What he states is nothing but the truth. Every game cuts content. It's just what happens in the process of creating games. If you believe otherwise, go outside and get a little fresh air. And at the end of the day, it doesn't mean this game or any other game will fail or be any less of a game than what you expected. Cut content for the most part happens for good reason. And although I don't want to get too deep into it, as I don't actually feel I need to, as I'm pretty certain you guys for the most part understand. What I will do is talk about what's actually been cut. What has it been cut and well, what wasn't there in the first place to be cut. Now there might be more than this, but for the most part, this is what I could find through numerous hours of research from the past few years. So the things people seem to be a little bitchy over. Gender. It said now you don't actually select a male or female option, as originally you could. This I have seen a little people go over the top on. I mean what you actually do is create what you want. If you want to create a female you can, male you can. You can create any form of human being you want. The options are more or less limitless, with you being able to use both options for male and female on the same character, I do believe, so people can create what they want to see and be happy with it. Just because you can't directly select a male, doesn't mean you can't make a big butch jacked up sounding geezer, because you can. So enough of that and let's move on. And to something that's actually cut from the game, and that is a spider bot companion. Now the spider bot or flathead is still in the game but it was meant to be a companion which helps you out in terms of hacking things etc etc. We see it within a few gameplay trailers so it's definitely still in the game, but it was cut from being that companion due to the fact it would clash with other gameplay abilities like net running hacking and so much more. I mean it's kind of a bummer we don't get to have a small spider bot companion, but cutting it from being that companion doesn't in reality take anything too much away from the game in my opinion. If it just clashed with other features, I can understand why it was cut. Something else that was originally in the game was wall running. Now in early gameplay footage we saw V using those mantis blades to scale up and hang off a wall. Now CDPR said this was removed due to design reasons. Now this to me is a little disappointing as it was something I originally looked forward to, but it definitely isn't the end of the world for sure. I mean there are plenty of other cyberware and augments in the game which change the way you move etc etc. I mean taking something out which just allows you to act like a security camera isn't the end of the world to me. What else has been removed is those cutscenes which take place in third person where you would see your created character and this has led to a ton of people to say crazy shit like customization is completely pointless as we never get to see our own characters which is just utterly daft. I mean there will be plenty of opportunities for you to see your customized character. A few instances off my head, four or more, driving, riding bikes, reflections and so many more instances. Something else I don't believe you can do anymore is select and wear clothes you see within your apartment which are on hangers, which we saw ages back within the first gameplays of this game. Now it seems you just switch out clothes from within your menu. Now things I am hearing many people state have been cut from the game, but if I'm honest I don't actually remember these things ever being confirmed to be in the game. For instance, riding the underground. I mean it was said that they were there and apparent. But when did they say we could actually use said underground or trains to travel about their place? I mean I don't remember that. Another thing, customising cars. This was an ever cut, as I'm pretty certain they never confirmed customising cars would ever be a thing. I mean I'm a little disappointed you can't do this, but it wasn't a feature that was once here and then removed. And people saying that are lying. Now we will be able to get customised versions of said cars. 
we just won't be able to customize them ourselves, cosmetic wise anyway. And it's the same with V's apartment, I myself don't remember them stating this can be customized, but either way, it can't. This again is a little disappointing and might be added in a future update, but it was never an original feature that was cut as I can remember. And well guys, that is about it. There probably is more on this subject in terms of other things that were cut, but at the end of the day, the way people seem to be going on is like, they have cut out half the game and will bring it back as future DLC content like we saw with Destiny. That ain't happening guys. It for sure is not the case here, so people really need to calm down. The game is still going to be incredible for sure, and well people, that is my opinion on the matter. Let me know yours down below. Also, before we end, I'm giving away copies of this game. I will announce winners a week before this game drops. To be in with a chance of winning one, drop a like on this video, leave a comment down below, and make sure you are subbed. The more of my videos I see you showing support on, the more of a chance you have of winning. And on that note, guys, the end of the video has arrived. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like really helps out. If you're new around here and want to see more Cyberpunk, be sure to subscribe. And if you never want to miss a video I upload, you can turn notifications on by hitting that bell button. But guys, thanks as always for stopping by. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully I will see you on that next one.